Purse house market is on the rise with the median price increasing 3.2% in the year so far to the end of April. Now to find out how your suburb performed, comment below and I'll let you know. Rewa CEO Kath Hart said the preliminary median house price for April is sitting at $545,000, which is $500 below the current figure for March. But Rewa.com sales data suggests this will increase as more sales settle in the coming months. Now, Rewa data is showing increased activity in the $500,000 to a $1 million price mark range, and this is contributing to that increase. Now, on the other hand, the unit market has remained relatively stable with the median for units sitting just shy of $400,000. Now, that's $500 dollars lower than three months ago and down fifteen and a half thousand dollars or three point seven percent over the year now the strong demand for houses in reflected in the selling time with houses selling in a median of 14 days in april while units are taking almost double that at 26 days and the rental market is showing a similar trend now the median weekly rent for houses has risen from 550 dollars in march to 575 dollars in april a 4.5 percent increase over the month and almost a 20 percent increase or 95 dollars over the year now the median weekly unit rent has also been rising but not at the same rate it was 500 dollars in april unchanged from march and 70 dollars higher or 16.3% higher than the same time last year. All right, let's get stuck in to the details. So CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 0.6% in April. That's 1% over the quarter, 1.3% over the year. Along with Adelaide, Perth is the only capital to show growth over 12 months. Now, according to Reba.com, the top performing suburbs for house price growth in April were Vic Park up 3% to $782,500. Kudnup up 2.8% to $365,000. Eglinton up 2.7% to $475,000. Quins Rock up 2.4% to $610,000. And Ocean Reef up 2.1% to $970,000. Now, Dawesville, Sterling, Golden Bay, Bentley, and Yokine also recorded moderate growth. Now, there were six and a half thousand properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of April. And this is a 7.8% decrease from March and almost 20% lower than the same time last year. Now, Reba CEO Kath Hart said, while April traditionally has less market activity due to the number of holidays during the month, the last time we saw the number of properties available for sale at this level was in June in 2010, 13 years ago. Now, while this sounds concerning, properties are still coming to the market at reasonable levels. And it is the speed of sales that is keeping that number low. So right now sales are tracking at the same levels as new listings, which means essentially that as one property comes onto the market, another sells. Now Reba.com weekly data shows property listings have remained below 7,000 since the beginning of the month. Now, according to Reba.com data, the fastest selling suburbs were Aurelia at two days, Coolangup and Meroa at four days, Brabham and Linwood at five days, Alkamos, Avely, Heathridge, Southern River, and Warnborough all at six days. Now, with the exception of Heathridge and Southern River, these suburbs have median house prices well below the Perth median. Now, as an example, the fastest selling or really has a median sale price of $370,000, indicating buyers are seeking vacuum out there and then acting quickly when they find it. And that's all from CEO Miss Cathar. Uh, so only nine of the 10 suburbs with the most sales for the month have also median house prices below the Perth median. Now, turning our attention to the Perth rental market in May. So Perth's median dwelling rent price was 550 bucks per week in April. Now this remains unchanged from March, but $30 higher or 5.8% than three months ago and $80 higher or 17% higher than a year ago. Now, while the median weekly house price rent rose over the month, a higher proportion of unit leases in April compared with March has kept the overall median stable. Now, according to Reba.com, the suburbs that saw the most growth in their median rent price in April were Wilson up 43 3% to 650 bucks a week. Cardinia up 39% to 650 bucks a week. Beckenham up 31% to $525 a week. Mosman Park up 20% to $663 a week. And Frio up 20% to 650 bucks a week. Now there were just shy of 2,000 properties for rent on Reba.com at the end of April, which is a 3% increase on March, but 20% lower than a year ago. Rental listings remain below 2,000 and have been at this level since August, 2022. Now new listings for rent, are at low levels at the moment, and this will see the number of homes remaining low. Now, it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during April, two days slower than March, but two days faster than a year ago. Demand is still high in the rental market, Miss Hart said. Now, the slight increase in the time to lease a property is more a reflection of the number of public holidays and the school holidays in April rather than a lessening of demand. Now, Reba.com data showed the suburbs recording the fastest median leasing times were Maddington at eight days, Southern River at nine days, Bentley was 10 days, then we had Nolamara, Nedlands, North Coogee, Piara Waters, and Chewett Hill all at 11 days, and Highgate and Spearwood at 12 days. Well, guys, 
That is all from me today. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, share this video, or follow and subscribe wherever you're seeing this. And remember, guys, have a great week, and there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. What's that? It's action. Now, thanks a lot. Bye for now.